Hello YouTube, um, this is Joey, um, here for day three for uh, Vlogtober. I want to talk a little bit today about caffeine. Uh, this is the subject I was alluding to yesterday uh, in yesterday's post. Uh, I've recently discovered or came to the realization that Caffeine has got to be the root of all evil. No, not the root of all evil, but it's certainly the root of a lot of my problems. And the reason I think it is is because uh, I can correlate uh, times in my life, especially over the past two years, where I have stopped drinking uh, beverages with caffeine. I've stopped my caffeine intake and... Um, my life has improved in several different ways uh, so the, if you remember from my last video where I talked about running I started last January uh, not let's see January of 2010 I started out by um, uh, going off of uh, carbonated beverages which majority of which have caffeine in them and especially the ones that I was drinking like Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, things like that. So uh, I started uh, started my little thing with that, and uh, within about three weeks, uh, I felt I started to feel just feel better. I uh, started getting better sleep. Started uh, my appetite started to uh, reduce. Uh, to the point where at, there were times where I would have to like uh, force myself to eat on purpose, you know, <laughs> um, because uh, throughout most of my life when I've been uh, eating, there's been a, there's a fly in here. Uh, when I've been eating, there's there's I've always had a kind of um, tendency to overeat. I think about food all the time. Uh, it's it's really not good and <laughs> so anyway when I when I went off this caffeine I, I um, all of these things started happening my my appetite uh, was greatly reduced and uh, uh, my energy level increased and my depression was much less so um, I didn't really think that much about it though I just you know felt uh, because at the same time I was kind of dieting and things like that so I felt like that it, there was uh, some maybe some correlation there between the dieting and all those things uh, but I, I've been thinking about it and each time each time that uh, I've noticed that these more positive effects have entered into my life has been preceded by me uh, stopping my intake of caffeine so this last time that I have stopped my the intake of caffeine that's when it really like hit home to me was that maybe it's not uh, maybe it's not the the restricted diet or these other things uh, maybe it's the caffeine itself maybe caffeine is somehow you know doing this stuff and it's, it's either caffeine or it's sugar, one or the other. I, I tend to think less that it's sugar uh, because I'm still eating sugar, stuff with sugar in it. Um, and I don't think that it's artificial sweeteners because I'm still drinking and eating stuff with artificial sweeteners in it. So uh, I, I, I think the, the thing that I have completely expunged from my life is the, is the caffeine. So... I really, I really think that caffeine has had something, has had a extreme negative effect on my life, and I didn't used to. When I was a, a young kid, I had you know the same young kid problems every kid has, you know, uh, and I was I had a lot of anxiety and things like that when I was a kid. But for the most part, I was a happy kid. I had a good childhood, never had any issues, uh, had a good home life, all that stuff. So. Um, uh, no problems there and I didn't really notice that I was having a lot of problems until I got into college and started uh, got out on my own and when I got out on my own I was um, 
drinking a lot more caffeinated beverage. I could drink Coke all the time. No one was there to tell me, no, you can't drink Coke all the time, or Diet Coke, or whatever, Diet Dr. Pepper, or Dr. Pepper, whatever it was. No one was there to tell me, no, you can't do that all the time. So, uh, I think that uh, my problems really started to manifest when I started doing that all the time. And uh, so that was somewhere in my college years. Uh, not immediately because um, not immediately though because like uh, when I first moved away I, I was still in my old habits so I wasn't drinking coke every day I was drinking water and tea and things like that and tea has caffeine in it but um, I don't know maybe just not as much but uh, I didn't really drink a lot of tea, drink a lot of Kool-Aid, things like that. So, um, but anyway, as I, my caffeine intake increased, uh, all of these kind of weird negative things uh, really took hold on me. So, I'm now, uh, the, the last time, uh, just a few weeks ago, I got off of caffeine again, and that's when it really hit me. I'm like, maybe it's the caffeine, maybe it's not uh just part of it maybe it's all of it maybe the caffeine is what really gets to me so uh, this is just pure anecdotal speculation on my part um but i would love to see uh i've i've done a little bit of kind of cursory research but i haven't really delved into it too deeply about the side effects of caffeine and stuff like that and i'd love to see some studies on this you know what are the effects of caffeine on depression on appetite, on your mood, things like that. So I have seen a little bit of stuff about uh, caffeine causing uh, increased appetite, uh, increased, I know that caffeine uh, can can give you a, I think one of the side effects on it is uh, increased uh, thirst, but I haven't seen uh, anything else really that kind of definitively points to uh, uh, depression and other things so I'd love to see some studies on that and find out if I'm just correlating stuff that's you know not really there's no direct connection it's just uh, a positive correlation or if there really is something to it and there really caffeine really does have a direct effect on your mood and on your appetite and all these other things that I think that it has a negative impact on. So uh, that's just what I wanted to talk about today. It's uh, kind of a short topic. Uh, I uh, would encourage anybody that has uh, noticed any of these negative impacts of caffeine to uh, give me a response, you know, in the comments, give me a video response, something like that, uh, and let me know what you think. Um, if you think I'm crazy, if you think caffeine is really that bad or whatever, but it's, uh, I think that it's bad enough that I have, uh, I'm coming to the point where I'm thinking that I never want to drink any drink with caffeine in it again. I, I really think that it's that bad. So, um, I am going to try it for a while and see how long I can stay off of it. Uh, and uh, see what kind of effect, you know, if, if the negative effects come back and I'm not on the caffeine, then I know that it wasn't the caffeine, that it was something else. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to stick with stick with that little theory, stay off the caffeine, and uh, uh, I'll keep you updated on that. So, uh, peace out, and I'll see you later.